Director and Professor of the Institute of Neuroscience, Wazoo Medical University. The paper I want to talk today is about a newly established SN1A gene mutation database and the role of functional alterations in determining the pathogenicity of the mutations. SN1A gene, which encodes the alpha subunit of sodium channel 1.1, is one of the most uh, clinically relevant uh, gene and is potentially associated uh, with epilepsy, autism, and uh, familial migraine. This database included uh, more than 1,000 mutations with special sections on functional studies and uh, inherited mutations. Based on information from this database, we analyzed the relationships among genotype, functional alteration, and phenotype. From genotype, phenotype point of view, we use the missing mutation, which do not cause growth protein malformation, as in index. It was displayed that mild phenotypes were more frequently associated with missing mutation, suggesting correlations between impairment and the pathogenicity. Radically, in contrast to genotype, functional alteration, phenotype in brief, is more directly linked to phenotype. Therefore, an important aspect of this paper is to analyze the correlation between genotype and phenotype, phenotype and phenotype. The four homologous domains contain voltage sensors and the poor forming regions, which form this alpha subunit of sodium channel 1.1. For analysis, we classified the electrophysiological changes of the channel into six categories, including loss of function, partial loss of function, gain and loss of function, decreased excitability, gain of function, and uh, increased uh, excitability. Regarding genotype phenotype relationship, it is found that missing mutation located in the poor region results in loss of function mostly and uh, partial loss of function occasionally, while missing mutation located in the surface of the channel may lead to increased excitability, gain of function, and also loss of function of different degrees. Tricating mutation occurred at the C terminal may produce small sodium current, whereas those located in the proximal part may cause complete loss of function. Regarding phenotype phenotype correlation, it is demonstrated that why the phenotype like gives plus are associated with mild functional defects, whereas severe phenotypes like SMEI are more frequently associated with complete loss of function. It is found that there is a negative correlation between the familiar instance and the phenotype severity, and the incomplete penetrance was associated with the missing and the split mutations, but not trications or genomic rearrangements, suggest so clinical genetic concerning applications. From the data presented, we might find that SN1A mutation vary in pathogenicity that are corrected with phenotype severity and inheritance. When the pathogenicity of a mutation is evaluated, the possible functional consequence should be considered, besides the nature of the mutation. The analysis presented in this paper is expected to be an example to exploring the relationships among genotype, phenotype, and phenotype. My colleagues and I will continue to update the information on SN1A mutation and make this database a really useful tool for clinical diagnosis and research. Thank you.